Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a Goodwill thrifting video. And I've kind of walked through the entire store, so first half is sneakers, the rest of it is just super randomness. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys want more of the randomness, it's really fun for me to actually run through uh, Goodwill and just thrift and look at just super oddball things. Um, so if you guys want more of that, leave a comment and let me know and, and I'll try to do that more often. And I actually recorded video per your guys' requests instead of just doing pictures. Part of the reason why I actually like doing video better is because I always take fuzzy pictures and then have to apologize later. So hopefully um, I can do this more often. I just re-record the audio later. Check out these gold crazies right here. Uh, Nike and it's all gold, early thing except for that sole. I don't even know what type of shoes these are. Like look, look, look like uh, dancer shoes or something. Uh, I was looking at the women's like designer shoes up there. Curious if I bought some women's women's designer shoes for the wife if she would like be like yuck because I got them from Goodwill or if she would like want them or like them. Thing about her though, she doesn't care about designer shoes. Those things are pretty rad. Uh, those Air Maxes and then check these ones out. The Lunar uh, Grand um, Cole Hans. And the price point is $25. Those things retailed at like $170 or $250 or something like that. Those ones used to be so expensive, but just kind of looking through the randomness. Anyway, she doesn't like designer like stuff for the most part. Like she doesn't need like Louboutins or anything like that. Check these out though. I almost passed these over. I was like, what are these? These like Nike clog things, ACGs. These ones are super nice, but they definitely came with a hefty price tag. I was like, dang. They, they weren't joking with this price tag. But these Nike clo clogs with the cross stitching with the red uh, on the uh, the toe area. And then you could see that the Nike swoosh kind of comes up. Those things are crazy looking. And uh, it's kind of fun when you when you go through and just thrift. Because at first glance, it just looks like super trash everywhere. But as you dig through, I'm like, I found two pairs of Air Maxes there. And then these super, super crazy Yeezy boots. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I don't know what, what these things are. But, uh, but yeah, if you look in, in detail, like, like what I'm doing in this video, you can, I'm just kind of like discovering whatever I end up discovering, uh, as we kind of go along, I'd probably pass over things in the video that you guys are going to be like, uh, what are you, what is, uh, he missed this one or missed that one. Check out these cowboy boots. Fun fact. I actually used to have cowboy boots when I was a kid growing up and believe it or not, they were my favorite shoes. I don't know why, but I wore those things and I just slide them on and I ruined the heels of them because I would just kind of step into them and it, it ruined the heels. Kind of funny. Probably one of the coolest pairs that they had there and these uh, Nike Dunks lows with the gum soles, black and kind of olive hits. 25 bucks too, great price point. This um, was like a size 12, I think, but like definitely worth 25 bucks. If I was, if I was like a, a, a college kid that was broke or a high school kid that, that didn't have a lot of money, Goodwill it, dude. Go to Goodwill and try to find some gems like that. That was a good one. This is another good one right here. Some rods uh, for, uh, look at this price point. It's like, what? Eight bucks? Like you could buy these, use some soap and water. If you can't even afford some Jason Mark, clean them up, dudes, and you'll have a little treasure. I, I wouldn't be too proud to do that. Like if, if I was um, like, didn't have enough money to buy like a pair of like Jordans or like brand new sneakers or whatever. Uh, check these out, some uh, some shocks, and uh, I don't know. I you know I always liked seeing some old shocks for some reason, just because I remember when they came out, they were so kind of wild and crazy. These things were super heavy. I don't know why these were so heavy, but they're crazy heavy. And you shook them, and they like jiggled in your foot. I don't know what the heck they were. They were like weights uh, with with those ones. And these price point on these were crazy good too. Like some hyper dunks. Sometimes you find some super steals. I think yeah, look at the price point, dude. Super steel for those. Decent shape. I mean, there's still enough tread. You could hoop in them or play ball outside. Those ones would have been good. Also, um, they always have like like football, baseball, and, and golf cleats. It seems like always uh, in just random sizes at thrift stores. And, as well as like Ross for all under like 25 bucks usually. So uh, it gives it you like some options if you wanted to play sports and you, you, know, you couldn't afford buying like the most expensive, you know, cleats or whatever it might be, uh, you could, you could thrift some stuff and get some, uh, some decent prices on them. I don't know. I think, uh, it's, it's just an important thing to, to note, especially for, I mean, even as a parent now looking for my kid, like I'll show you at the end, there's some toys and stuff that I just about ended up buying for him just because it's like super cheap. Instead of buying a brand new thing that costs like 50 bucks, I could buy something that costs $6 used from Goodwill and then just clean it up. Uh, on my own but just some more randomness super random brands super random stuff as i'm seeing check these out kind of has that air jordan 
uh, vibe. Just kidding. You know how which which is the model that had the segmented front and back section. Those ones had like a little segment on them, different. And then these are the structured tracks, I think, or something like that. Um, not the structured tracks. Those are are the structure or something. I don't I don't remember. Speaking of the the triaxes, though, this has been a pair I've been looking on eBay for to try to find uh, a nice pair of of the original ones or the older versions um, of the triaxes. It's just a model that I really like. Really random. Check out the uh, the straps right there with the Adidas three three stripe branding. Aqua sock. I don't know what these are. They felt very insignificant in hand though. Like they were just super like really lightweight and flimsy. Pretty funny. Uh, more just randomness as I'm looking around. Check these. I've never seen these before either. It says, I love you with the heart dunks, obviously like a Valentine's day theme. I don't remember. I should have looked at the tags, uh, but, uh, but I don't remember them dropping a Valentine's dunk like these ones, uh, from back in the day, kind of a, a fun random one that I ended up seeing or force ones, uh, mids with the straps and then just some more, uh, super, super randomness. But uh, but it was kind of fun going through thrifting this one. Um, some Skechers with a heathered gray uh, tech fleece. It looked like. But uh, but yeah, I, I like uh, looking through some uh, some uh, Goodwills. This is one that is closer to my my house area. It's not the one near Nike, which I need to go back and check out the visible Zoom Air caged on that pair. Definitely love that. And some more Dunks. I always see Dunks there. Uh, dunks over Air Force Ones, as I always say for me. Like I love. The Nike Dunks over the Air Force Ones. Some more really random looking models. And, and uh, you know, just looking through all these white randomness over here. Nothing too uh, fancy, as you can see. And some, some Nike clogs. Some more, like, fa fancier version of the other uh, all, all conditions gear version. If you guys didn't know, that's what ACG stands for, is all conditions gear from Nike, at least. Uh, and then some more Dunks here with some wild zebra prints and some green and some I don't know why somebody thought that was a good idea green and purple and zebra anyway here's a look at the uh the sneaker wall of heat <laughs> from goodwill looking through goodwill and seeing this makes me happy you know just a nice holiday mug there's a dude at my day job that actually rocks a christmas mug year round but this <laughs> drew my attention uh god milk it is a boob it is a boob mug that is probably the funniest mug ever. Can you imagine bringing that into the office? I wonder what they would do. It's like found porn almost. Like, I don't know if you've ever looked. Have you ever searched found porn? It's like a tree that looks like a vagina or something like that. Just super ridiculous, funny stuff. But that's actually like a mug that is shaped like a boob. So it's not really the same context. But uh, but anyway, these uh, these mugs were pretty uh, pretty wild. Looking at the glassware, sometimes you can... F I found like a snifter, like a... Oh, look at this guy. Best dad ever. Uh, pretty affordable, but I decided not to buy that. I should have bought that. I should have brought that to work. People would have been like, what? It's like a pimp pimp cup. But um, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Rainforest Cafe. I remember the first time I went to one of those in Orlando. It was super fun. Uh, the aged steaks there are pretty good. Snow Globe. Like, like, really? Like, they have the most random stuff. The random trinkets that people buy or can buy. And then they realize that they don't need them like that Disney snow globe. And then check out all these random little like trinket things. Like what do you do with these things? Just leave them on your shelves or something. Um, Hello Kitty. Uh, I, it looks like somebody painted that Hello Kitty thing right there. But uh, but they have just the most random, random stuff around here. And uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. No arms though. It sucks when you find the things like that. Then it was like, this could have been cool. My brother loves Nightmare Before Christmas, but unfortunately that guy had no arms, so he wouldn't have liked that. This looks a little creepy. Sometimes you find like old, like old 40s, like stuff like this, and it's like super racist. So random how they have stuff like that. Um, but yeah, for those uh, ball heads out there, this is a, you know, a ball, bobble ball trophy. Looking through the sporting goods, and what is this? They actually have a pickaxe for like super cheap. And I was like, maybe I should buy this ax. I probably don't need that though. So sometimes they have snowboards and snowboard boots. Ah, Barbie bag though. Yeah. And then they also, sometimes I find some Nike bags, uh, but then they had some, uh, some stormtrooper stuff over here, but no Nike bags that I could see in this cluster mess of baggery, uh, already. So let's, uh, let's see what else they have. Kind of just some more randomness. No, no fancy bags, unfortunately. And then, uh, let's see. 
Kind of no fancy golf clubs. Dude, I swear rollerblading's making a comeback. I don't know. I saw kids rollerblading and some like people rollerblading the other day. Uh, but uh, rollerblades used to be real cool. I don't know. I never did, though. Never had a pair. Uh, and uh, go Beavs. Little football right here. But I never had a pair of rollerblades, dudes. And I'm curious. I bet you guys are too afraid to admit that you have them. I think that's a nice way of, of transport, transportation. Kind of a random frisbee right here. It's un like package is brand new in package um looking at more of the uh toys and stuff i think as we finish up the video just kind of randomness it's always fun looking through this, this stuff sometimes it's a little grimy sometimes it can be pretty cool and look look at this barney it's like a talking barney or something it's super heavy has like a battery pack on the bottom pretty funny and then if you hear that in the background my dog chloe is literally snoring on the floor i don't know why but harrison loves elmo if he's crying and he needs some attention. We put on Elmo's World, and he like loves it. Uh, some Dippin' Dots you can make your own. He probably has not all of the parts. Grave Digger with no controller. I wish uh, like that that thing was pretty rad. I would buy that if I could fix it up. Um, more just randomness. These kid toys are always fun with the electronics, but it's like always a gamble. It's I swear you should just come to these places with a screwdriver and batteries just so you can put them in. And see if it works and then you can buy them because it's like six bucks versus like again like 30 or 40 bucks for some of this stuff and it might be worth uh checking it out some power rangers in the package but usually they have just stuff that's got kind of garbage and uh yeah buzz lightyear with no batteries christmas stuff over there and then just more kind of randomness over here as you can see and then check these out uh, lots of kylo ren and uh just kind of uh nothing really just kind of garbage i thought this was a turtles thing i don't know what this is from though but uh chloe's snoring and the video is coming to an end i don't know if you guys like this video it's a longer video than the previous ones but if you guys do leave a comment let me know what you guys think and just kind of looking over the randomness over at my uh my goodwill so have a good one though hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and more of the randomness i almost bought this thing dude but i didn't anyway catch you guys later peace